Uh, something you need to think about, especially in late game situations, is do you have somebody that you can trust to always get the ball in bounds cleanly for you? It may not be necessarily a guard. Uh, just like you need a player that can throw the home run pass, have you worked on situations in practice where you have a trigger man that you feel extremely comfortable with that in late game situations they can make plays by getting the ball in bounds, not feeling panicked and understanding the five second count? Okay, I'll go back to what I said earlier. You make as many pressure situations, excuse me, you make as many pressure decisions as you possibly can with your coaching staff in the non-pressure time of the off season. So whether it's in the summer or fall when you have your staff meetings or it's during practice in the preseason, you must develop a player or two that can inbound the ball cleanly late in the game. Even if that player has to come off the bench. Okay, it's all part of winning close games. Okay, so here's our, here's our deal here. We gotta get the ball in bounds. One is going to up screen for three who's gonna go long. And there's nothing wrong sometimes in certain situations where the defense has brought everybody up and it, and it may be a very close game and, and you know that we caught him in a breakdown and three takes off and my inbounder has the guts and the ability to throw the ball deep and maybe get a layup or get the ball away from the baseline here and we win the game with one great decision by our trigger man. All right, so we're going to one for three screen. And as soon as that happens, we're going to uh, staggered screen with five and two. Okay, now we realize that one and two might be a switchable situation. And that's okay late in the game. Because as soon as two screens for one, five's going to stay still. Two's going to come off his back to get open here. And now we must also understand whether or not the trigger man can run the baseline or not. That plays into our thought process here. Okay, so it may be that the defense has really uh, loaded up on this ball side and simply by running to the other side out of bounds, we're able to easily make this pass. Okay, and then what we have is if one's not open, if two's not open, and then five's got to be able to read this clear and then break somewhere where he can catch the ball. And if we hit here, we have now have one and two on each wing, maybe heading up the floor versus pressure, okay? So that's all we really want to do here is get the ball in bounds, uh, take as much pressure off the baseline as we possibly can, but with the idea that we're going to be crisp, we're going to cut hard, we're going to screen hard, and we're going to make our free throws and win the game.